Hey, I'm going to be as unemotional as I can about this and systematically go through it because my horoscope said I'd be really opinionated today. If you're on my Facebook, you can see why. Um, the guy thinks that uh, some dude, some professor, says the Mayan calendar may be wrong and that if the Venus tables cannot be used to prove the FMT, as Lonsberry suggests, its acceptance depends on the reliability of the corroborating data, he said. And that historical data, he said, is less reliable than the table itself. But this dude never once did the calculations. He never once gave us a new end date. He just said, oh, it's probably 50 to 100 years in the future. I mean, I first, first off, I want to say that people are like, yay, the world's not going to end. I can live. Um, first of all, get that out of your mind. The Mayan calendar is about solar flare increases. And if you know about James T. Spottiswood, uh, his experiments involving the Milky Way, um, it increases telepathy whenever uh, we're aligned with it. Just go to my other videos. I don't have time to talk about it right now. Um, he never offers us a table. He never gives us an actual calculation. He's just saying it may be wrong. Um, I really don't think we should jump to conclusions here, but we um, we should do the evidence ourselves. And so far, this guy has given nothing. To, uh, he's given us nothing to work with. So why why should we just believe one guy who says, "Oh, it's not"? A, I mean, we can argue about the age of Aquarius and Pisces as long as we want. You know, that's obviously a sketchy a sketchy time. But we cannot argue about the extreme precision that the Mayans used when calculating um, their dates. I mean, the Venus tables are still accurate up to a millennia in the future, okay? They can still predict every solar eclipse um, up to a 30-second interval. And it's a full moon right now, so a lot of people are just like speculating, oh, thank God. But I'm, I'm of course, on the psychic um, clairvoyance telepathic shift um, angle so I mean everyone else is all happy they're not going to be dead in two years whereas other more positive new age people are upset that they won't have their enlightenment in two years or whatever um, I really think that since I'm already experiencing a Borg like telepathy I can literally hear people's thoughts that I do not know but I know that they're talking about me because that energy they're giving to me. I, it's already happening, y'all. I mean, this started happening in 06 during a huge leap in the Mayan calendar, okay? I don't think that this guy's evidence is, uh, first of all, credible, and second of all, you know, actually actually to to the point. If he, if he knew the new date, he would have given it. Instead, he's just saying, oh, well, this throws everything off. What throws everything off? Every single article I've read about it is as broad as the fucking Grand Canyon. And trust me, I've been there. Um, I really don't think... <laughs> and it's weird because um, my friend posted it and she's a Virgo. And then another Virgo liked the post. So I kind of made a comment about, oh, a skeptical Virgo posts it and a skeptical Virgo likes it. And then they were like, well, I know other gullible Virgos. Skepticism is a form of gullibility. If you if you like blindly accept a science a scientist's word just because he's a scientist, that's that's a huge form of gullibility. You know, um, what real authority do they have in regards to prophecy? None. They just do the numbers. They don't experience a psychic shift. They've never affected the breeze. I swear to God, I've done it. They've never affected the lightning. They've never made light bulbs blink every single day. Okay, I'm still waiting for Rupert Sheldrake's response to me. His secretary said he read it. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm just saying I need more evidence. Okay, and, and just to prove that the Mayans didn't believe the world would end, the Mayans never once said that. <laughs> Getting emotional. Um, to prove it, they had 17 other calendars. And only the prophetic um, uh, spiritual calendar ends. All of the other, the Sulkin astrological calendar, 
the their agricultural calendar, all the 17 other calendars will still be rolling. And that's proof that the Mayans never implied that everything will explode and we wouldn't have to worry about it. Dude, we have nothing to worry about, okay, except psychic increase, okay? You're going to be feeling more sensitive for some reason. And it's not just because humanity is, you know, evolving. I mean, it has to do with time itself. And, and 2012 is special in itself as well because... Terence McKenna, his novelty theory of time wave zero is completely independent of the Mayan calendar, and that ends in 2012 no matter what. And that is extremely, there's very much uh, evidence to support the cycles in that calendar as well. So, one professor says one thing and everyone's all freaking out about it, okay? It's completely and utterly broad as fuck, and don't be sucked in by the hype, okay? It's very easy to be like, oh, well, now everyone is just, you know, extending the date like they were supposed to. No. December 21st corresponds to the Katun cycle, the Bakhtun cycle, that began a specific day, August 16th, 3113 BCE. It didn't begin 50 years after that, okay? 100 years after that. It would not make sense mathematically, and trust me, I know my mathematics.